Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be doing a will I buy it video. I have not done one of these in a really long time. So I'm excited to see what is new, talk about them with you. And of course, a big thank you to Samantha March for creating these videos. Uh, but let me go ahead and move to one side and uh, we'll start talking about some new upcoming releases. All right, so I am starting where we all start on Trend Mood 1 on Instagram. And the very first post that I see, so I'm filming this on Sunday and I'll probably be posting this on Tuesday. So hopefully I'm not missing too many new releases um, that are announced between now and then. But the first one here on the Trend Mood feed at the moment is, wow, I'm really excited for this. So Beautylish uh, has uh, just released like their Yano uh, brush series and they came out with a face set and they so kindly gifted me that face set it is incredible it is so so beautiful um, all of the brushes are made from um, either squirrel or squirrel goat um, like mix oh and they're so sumptuous and soft and some of the face brushes are really really big like giant brushes and i don't have anything like them in my collection anyway Gorgeous, gorgeous brush set. So it looks like they're extending uh, this whole Yano line to include an eye set. Wow, I am really, really excited. There are two brushes in there that look like blender brushes, two brushes in there that look like, um, they remind me actually of the Surratt Smoky Eye Brushes, and then there's one that looks like, uh, almost like a Sonia G Pencil One brush. I wonder what these are made out of. I wonder if they're, a squirrel or if they're goat or if they're a mix again if they're made out of squirrel hair oh, oh I'm so excited squirrel hair is so soft which you know on my face it's great you know when you use a really soft brush but on your um, eyelids you know the skin is so much more delicate you can really feel the difference of a much softer fiber so I'm really excited for these I don't like to presume I don't know if Beautylish is going to be sending me these but if they aren't I will definitely be picking these up because I was so impressed with their face set that I would definitely definitely purchase these I don't know if there is a price on these yet but they will be available February 23rd is that today 22nd oh my gosh that's today okay they're available now 10 a.m. Pacific I'm posting this at 8 of course it depends on when you're watching this anyway they're available today at 10 a.m. Pacific so these brushes are sorry I kind of like glossed over this assuming you would know but um, these brushes from Beautylish are handmade in Japan um, so they're of the highest quality and they're just so sumptuous oh they just they look soft they look soft soft in this picture. Next up, it looks like Bite Beauty is coming out with an Upswing Extreme Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. And I almost missed this post because I thought it was their mascara. It looks like a very similar packaging. The mascara looks like this, I guess just a bigger kind of thicker version of it. I have the mascara on. It's really been growing on me. It is a really lovely mascara. So I am really interested in this. I don't really wear liquid eyeliners that much. I can't tell if it's a felt or brush tip. Let's see. Clean, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free. Passion flower extract helps nourish so the eyeliner doesn't flake or dry out. Uh, stay in control, super precise, stress-free application. Fade and smudge resistant, extreme long wear, blah, blah, blah. It does not say if this is um, a felt tip or a brush tip, and I prefer a brush tip. I don't know, I don't know. Am I gonna get this? Prob probably not, probably not. I mean, you know, just kind of thinking about it just a little bit further. I, Like I said, I just really don't wear that much liquid eyeliner, and this is not something you get in Hoard. It's like mascara, they dry out, they don't stay good for very long. So if I were a liquid eyeliner wearer, I would probably give this a shot because of how much I'm liking this mascara, but I'm not. So I think I am going to pass on this, but that's awesome. I really like that Bites kind of expanding their whole product line. You know, they used to just have lipsticks and yeah, it's really great. So big congrats to Bite Beauty for that. That looks very, very exciting. Um, the next thing in this feed that looks really, really exciting. And I think this is available in Europe already. Not available here, but this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. Is that really the name? 
<laughs> powder, no powder. Okay. It's a translucent powder with blurring effect, matte with a natural radiant finish, long wear. So apparently it has a transparent gel base that is infused with soft focus pigments, blur and mattify, and mother of pearl microparticles, no powdery finish. Wow. So there's going to be 10 shades, $40 each. There's also a new brush, the face brush number 18, which is supposed to work with it. I probably will skip the brush, even though it looks very soft and fluffy. And all of this will be available, oh, March 1st on their website and other retailers. I am very, very excited for this. I have been, as you guys know, I have been really getting more and more into Dior makeup in general and their base products are always so nice. And these kind of look like the powders that were in their um, face palettes, like the Sculpt and Contour one. That formula is really um, like, creamy without feeling emollient. Like they're really, really interesting and they do go on really nicely. So if this is like a similar same formula to that, that's very exciting. Okay, so a definite to that, a definite yes to that. I will be picking that up. Oh, we have a Becca palette, a limited edition face and eye palette featuring all new shades of highlighters, blush, and bronzer. So this caught my eye because, um, I don't know if you guys remember that collab that Becca did with Chrissy Teigen that had, um, I think it was a bronzer and a blush and then two different highlights, much like this one. And I really liked that palette. It was so pretty. Of course, it all depends on the shades and the shades in here look very, very nice. And I am really just such a sucker for face palettes. I like looking at them, but above all, they're just very, very handy, travel friendly. You know, I take out one thing and I can get like my entire cheek done. So I really like a nice, well thought out face palette. And this one looks very pretty, very, very pretty. So it's called Sunsetter Face Palette. It's limited edition and, oh, it looks like it's available on Nordstrom now. So I'll link to everything that's available down in my description box if you're interested. Um, but that is interesting. That is a definite, a definite maybe <laughs> from me. Definite maybe. Okay, moving on. Oh, this is exciting to me. So Tatcha is coming out with a loose face powder. Now, I love loose powder. I have dry skin and it's taken me a long time to figure out how to use it for me and which ones work well for me. And I I can't wait. I can't wait to get my hands on this and see how it works for me. So this is the Silk Powder Protective Setting Powder by Tatcha. It's protective talc-free setting powder that blurs pores, shields from pollution and blue light and provides a translucent soft radiant finish. It'll be $48 and it will be available on March 6th at Tatcha and Sephora. Yeah, I'm definitely picking this up for sure. That is another definite. Wow, the two definites so far are powder, which is strange for me. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. Are you guys excited for the Tatcha loose powder? I am for sure. Oh, this is not a new release. This is just some news, but this is so exciting. Danessa Myrick's Beauty is going to be sold at Sephora from now on. I couldn't be more excited. I love her highlight palette. I'm just, I'm just so glad to see her brand there because she's got such amazing stuff. So it's coming to Sephora on February 26th. So what is that? This, this Friday, something like that. And in stores on April 9th. <gasps> so exciting. A big congratulations to Danessa Myricks for that. I know that's a big win for a beauty company to be able to be carried at Sephora. That's fantastic. So big congratulations to her. Can't wait to see what other products she comes out with. Cause I do have a lot of them and wow, some of those color fix, um, like liquid cream shadows or pigments that she has in those tubes. They're like, out of this world, incredible, like multi-chrome and oh, just gorgeous. And then this picture caught my eye. So this is something from Melt. What's going on here? New minis. Ah, your favorite pigment packed lip and eye formulas stuffed into pocket sized packaging, nudes and reds. Okay, so it looks like there's some red lipsticks, some nude lipsticks, and then some eyeshadows. That looks really cool. Do you remember when Stila first came out? Like we're talking in the mid to late 90s. When Stila first came out, their eyeshadows were in those like paper cardboard packaging. And it was so different. I think that's what these look like they're in. I'm not sure. It looks interesting. I am a big fan of Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. So maybe I'll pick up some of those 
nudes. I am also a big fan of single eyeshadows. I'm a big fan of anything that comes in like a little pot type thing. So yeah, I'm definitely interested in getting those eyeshadows. I'll probably pass on the lipsticks because, <laughs> because I have tons. Um, but those eyeshadows look interesting. Very, very interesting. So Jamie Genevieve's Vive line looks like it's growing a bit. It looks like she's come out with blushes and I'm such a blush fiend. I would really like to try these, but I'm trying to think like, where are they available? I think they're available on Cult Beauty. They are available to the US. So I would like to try her whole line. Maybe I'll do like a whole Jamie Genevieve um, like makeup look. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section if you would like me to review the whole line. But I've put off kind of talking about this brand only because I thought it was um, like difficult to get in the US. But I think, yeah, I think you can get it. Anyway, I'll look into it. And if you're interested, let me know <laughs> down below in the comment section. Oh, we've got this Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial from Charlotte Tilbury. So I actually um, was invited onto like a, like a, it, kind of like a masterclass for Charlotte Tilbury regarding this product. And it sounded amazing. She had scientists on there. She had makeup artists on there. She had like estheticians on there and they were all raving about this. And I personally, I have to pass on this because it has so many alpha and beta hydroxy acids that I can't use on my skin, which I was really bummed about. They were just going on and on about it on this call. And I was like, I can't use that, that's not for me. But if you guys are into like alpha hydroxys, beta hydroxys, um, et cetera, then I would definitely look into this, um, this new skincare product from Charlotte Tilbury. Sounds, it sounds great. It sounds really great. Now this next product, um, this is a giant eyeshadow palette from Byredo. It's 18 pans. And you know, when I first saw it, I just immediately went onto Selfridges and I added it to my cart and then I, I just stopped myself and I thought, do you really want this? Is this something that you're gonna use more than once or twice? And you know, I just, I got real with myself. And so I, I, I just, I didn't check out. I did not purchase this palette, but it looks like a lot of fun. I love, love, love the Byredo, um, the Quint that I got in corporate colors. So I really like the quality of their eyeshadows, but these colors are just, um, they're too much fun for me. <laughs> I'm too basic and I'm too boring for this. Um, there are a few colors in there that I would really, really like to use, like the gold shimmery one, the olive green shimmery one, maybe the peach shimmery, the lilac, but that's about it. That's about it. All of the other ones I think just aren't for me. So I'm gonna pass on this and I, I may regret it. I guess I can always uh, buy it at a later time. I don't think this is limited edition it doesn't say it doesn't say so i can always change my mind right if if i want it later um, but for right now i think i'm going to pass on this one okay i'm heading over to my friend tavia's instagram feed which is chic profile official she's she's always like on it she has like some really really great releases on here um so okay she's talking about the dior powder we, we've already talked about that burberry has come out with a runway eye palette. It's a nine pan eyeshadow palette. And I don't think it's available in the US yet. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on <laughs> with Burberry here in the US. I feel like um, the retailers really aren't carrying their newer things. Um, you can find it on the Burberry site. Uh, but I would just like to know like if it's gonna be carried at Sephora, Saks again, all the retailers that used to carry it, Nordstrom, all the retailers that used to carry them. Um, I hope to see it there again. So anyway, this eyeshadow palette looks gorgeous. If I am able to get my hands on it, I really would like to. It looks like a mixture between satin shades and matte shades. And like I said, it looks really beautiful. The color story really appeals to me and I'm really hoping I can get my hands on this. So that would be a big yes if I can. And next up, it looks like Kogendo is coming out with, it's a palette and I don't know if it's just eyeshadows. I think it's just eyeshadows. It looks like there's um, eight eyeshadows and it looks like they're kind of laid out in the palette like it's two quads. So on the left we have something that's uh, very pink and then on the right we have something that's a little bit more neutral, looks like browns um, and uh, some creams in there. 
And this looks really, really beautiful. I love the Kogendo eyeshadows. I actually just decluttered a couple of the quads that I had because I just never reached for them. They just got lost in my collection, but they are really lovely. Very, very finely milled, very silky. And like a lot of Japanese makeup brands, the eyeshadows aren't overly pigmented. They're just like this really nice wash of color. And that's what these look like. You know, when I look at the picture, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. So this is really pretty. I don't know when uh, this is coming out, uh, just spring 2021, but I would really like to take a look at that. That's a definite maybe. <laughs> That's another definite maybe. I'm hoping to maybe see some swatches on their site or something and just see, get a better idea of like the color stories, but that looks really lovely. And then Keir Weiss, which is one of my favorite um, organic clean beauty brands, they have come out with two new eyeshadow quads. So pretty, so Keir Weiss. Um, one is called Wanderer and the other is Spellbound. And one looks like, a really kind of basic everyday sort of palette and the other one looks like a little bit more sultry looks like you can smoke it out a little bit both look really really beautiful and i cannot wait <laughs> i cannot wait to try these like i said they're one of my favorite brands and their products work uh, beautifully for me so definitely going to be picking that up and i think that is it so let me know what uh, some things you're anxious <laughs> to see uh, let me know if there were some things i mentioned um, that you would definitely love to see a video on i would be happy to do a review for you and yeah let me know any other thoughts you have down below in the comment section give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video